What's going on guys, Kaga here, and today we're going to talk about Inferno, the four star monster family, which one's worth it, which one's to forget about, let's get into it. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Inferno family. Starting with fire, we're pretty much going to skip over this one, uh, basic attack doesn't do much, first skill is reminiscent of something like uh, Terrasion. Whereas you see it's damage and defense down, uh, but doesn't do the oblivion, things like that. And then the second skill hits three times, which is nice, but only the third hit uh, applies burn and has a 70% chance stun, neither of which are very, very good, especially with four mana cost. Uh, going to the water one this is one that you'll probably see a lot right now it is very very powerful especially with its book effect being hp and crit rate if we take a look uh regular damage and when crit rate occurs 25 percent chance to decrease skill cooldown by one second if we read the actual effect uh, tax target in decreases its skill cooldown with a certain chance so it doesn't work to your team but on purian will get skill cooldown so he's a pretty good off soul link it also shows that crit matters which his book effect being crit is very powerful as well as uh as well as a little bit of attack speed would not be a bad thing then we take a look at the first ability, two mana cost, with a thousand percent damage. If we take a look, attacks enemy target with powerful energy sphere and applies freeze if it crits. Seventy percent chance to freeze for three point five seconds. We take a look, frozen unable to act. You'll see that a lot with uh, Orbia or Cleef uh, do that in PvP pretty often. And last but not least, is uh, one that people really care about. Three mana applies crit rate up to nearby allies. So if we take a look, it's it applies level two, which is a 40% crit rate up, as well as decreases skill cooldown of team members, which is 30%, the same amount as Konamiya, as well as giving crit rate up. And then... While having that crit rate up, its basic and first ability uh, really are powerful based off of that crit rate. He's really powerful off Soul Link because if he, if his basic hit attacks crit, then his other two skills, which are pretty low cooldown, will come back quicker. Especially uh, Adrenaline will give Pierce back quicker which is a very, very powerful skill. Then we have the green one, does nothing on the basic. Then we have uh, okay damage, nowhere near as good as Pyrian's damage, attack speed down, and some defense pierce. And the second skill, uh, this is good damage, but Pyrian did it for two mana, this is three mana uh, damage. Uh, attacks target powerful energy and increases the skill cooldown so uh, makes their cooldowns take a little bit longer we we've seen this with things like hellish blizzard or um, terrible tornado uh, if the target has attack speed down increase the cooldown again so it kind of works off of itself but it's just hard to get these off its accuracy does help from book effect but it being a mage and scaling attack isn't really what we're looking for here light i really like the light one i i really like the dark one actually as we'll see but uh just does regular damage when crit occurs uh two mana cost about the same damage as Pyrian, so one to one and instead of a freeze for 3.5 seconds this is a stun for 3.5 seconds then we have the other ability which is the one that really matters judgment of light summons light to attack enemy target and remove beneficial effect so we got a three mana strip here with 
over 1000% damage ratio and uh, removes all beneficial effects if the target is stunned. So if you get the two mana pierce off to stun them, one, they're stunned, two, after they're stunned, uh, you can hit them with Judgment of Light, which is a full strip, uh, as well as giving level two crit rate up, as we talked about, uh, being 40%. Its book effect is also crit rate, which builds into the same thing like Purian. Uh, Drogon is probably the funniest one of the bunch. Uh, f uh, max damage on the attack. First skill, uh, five mana cost, not something you really want because, you know, five mana cost. Dark energy with an area applies defense down, applies poison if it's under 50% HP. Uh, five mana, you're never going to cast this. Uh, deals damage based on its lost HP to the enemy uh, with powerful energy spheres with a 62% stun, stun, the lowest chance of stun, but it has sort of like a 770% attack with uh, about 12% of their lost HP as damage. So uh, this does count destroyed HP. Destroyed HP is... Uh, also technically missing HP, so this can work really good on a destroy set, but what we really care about is the funny passive. Uh, cast a final curse on the enemy to deal damage based on its max HP and applies unrecoverable. When defeated, 80% of its max HP as fixed damage means their defense and things like that don't matter. This can go straight through and kill Garu uh, during his thing. As well as uh, Laika, uh, when defeated, unrecoverable for 14 seconds. So uh, I've tested and destroy does not work on this 80%, which is a little annoying uh, because I don't think the game is considering Drogon as doing the damage. Uh, I guess the system's doing the damage or whatever. But if this gets uh, fixed in the future, it could be a really funny thing for Kinas to come in with uh, destroy Drogons uh, with a revive team and then have Drogon blow up on their face over and over. I think that'd be really funny. But realistically, uh, Water, Purian, and Light, Eladan are very, very powerful units going forward, especially uh, Eladan, slightly less uh, damage on the uh, skill two, uh, but they're both two mana, but has a wildly stronger uh, S3, as well as a full strip, whereas uh, instead of that uh, huge, almost 1100% nuke, uh, Purian has Adrenaline, which is... 30% cooldowns. So you'll see these in a bunch of fights. These are both units you're going to want for Siege. Both of them are going to have similar builds. Uh, Purian will mostly be HP, crit rate, get some crit damage if you can, but generally you're just going to want it to be tanky, attack speed, crit rate. Uh, that's its whole thing, whereas... Uh, Eladan is going to want crit rate, crit damage, and obviously a little bit of uh, HP defense just to stay alive, but you're going to go hard on these nukes, because as we see, 861 for 2 mana, and 1100 uh, for 3 mana, as well as stunning, full stripping, both very, very powerful. Let me know which 4 or 3 star unit you would like to see me talk about next. And until next.